All right, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in Kaduna. We actually came a couple of days ago. We'll be going to Kaduna South, which is a place that really gets uh, views or gets, sorry, really get people showing them on the internet. And most time when you see uh, videos for or news or hear something about that part of the state, it's always something negative. So we're gonna go there and see what we can find there, what the life of, lives of the people is, uh, are like and uh, how they live their lives, what they do. Every interesting thing we think that you guys may be interested in, we're gonna show you guys there. So anyway, so let's go. We'll be leaving this giant hotel, this place we've been staying for a few days. All right, let's go. Let me show you what Kaduna South is. By the way, we'll be traveling from here to uh, Kafanchan, uh, which I'll show you on the map. You can see how the distance is from here to Kafanchan. We will stop over at several places that we might find interesting and then see what comes along. Let's go. Guys, we just, guys, we just stopped over to get snacks. That's what she's having. And this is what I'm having. We need to fill up before we open the way. This time is after 8 a.m. now. Yes. Anyway, let's, let's just finish it before we start driving. that the wind is so cold or the breeze is so cold because we want to put our glasses down and it's reminding me of Plateau State Jaws. Actually in Castle Magani now. Why? 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 Why?
On our way to Karanchan, we decided to stop by the famous luxury castle in Nigeria called Kajuro Castle. It is said to have been built by a German between 1981 and 1989 and is located 45 kilometers from Kaduna. I've heard so much about this castle and always wanted to visit. However, it was attacked by bandits some years back, which halted its operations. You can check out the video I made about this in the description below. This place is a place we actually seen on the map. Sorry, let me start like this. This place you're seeing behind me is a castle. It was built by German, I think in 1988 or thereabout. I'll put the year here. He built it and obviously he's not, he no more lives here, but it has been a place that has attracted a lot of people to come to see how the place is like. But unfortunately, this beautiful castle, which is the only castle in Nigeria, had a very bad experience. And that experience made a lot of people to stop coming here. Because I made a video about it, I think, sometime. But I'll put the link in the description. You can see what happened that time. Okay. Uh, I just spoke with, I saw a security guard there. Baba, now what? Now get ya. Aiki. Ah, then Gani ne ko, then Dubai, then Kuma, then Dubai, then. Oh, eh. Ah, the Kaduna no go. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Baba, Baba, Ashiga. Ah, keep in your Baba. I'm going to Zamu Gani ko. Okay. Okay. Zamu time na zwa de, Zumba sa zwa de. Yo. Zumba sa zwa de. All right. Wow. Now, but they get from there. Ah, some apple? Yeah, over here. Okay. Keep it down. Keep it down. Okay. So, this is. Oh. oh, okay. 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 Oh, why Oh. I just made me to understand that, like we said, it's a white guy that built it years ago, but he no more, he's no more here. And uh, because of that incident, many people, nobody comes here again. And it's on top of the hill. From here, you can see everywhere. Now, what is that? 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 Now, on getting here, I was told that the castle was usually busy when it was operational, especially over the weekends, though it is not operational now, yet it is still a beautiful sight. The incident that happened here was devastating. However, with the new military checkpoint just down the road, I am sure once it opens again, it will be a safe place to stay. Inside the castle houses several animals, a large pool and a lounge area, several rooms and a fort that lets you see a vast area of the surroundings. Guys, the view here is amazing and serene and you get to stay inside the one and only castle in Nigeria. How cool is that? Was that here? Sa security ba? Naga so jojia hanya. Was that security anamba? Mutazan the Adangazo Akuma Kamandaba. 
All right, I just went upstairs. I uh, went up there to see the castle. But uh, unfortunately, I, I, I was made to understand that the place has not been functional after that incident. And the guy told me that they could allow me in bed. You know, if they allow me going and start shooting videos, uh, the authorities may be thinking that they are accepting money from people to let people in, which is wrong. So, but they will not understand that. It's just me that I just wanted to go up there. So, they allowed me in, but I didn't shoot any video. It was a beautiful place. Crocodiles, peacocks. <sighs> just a place to <sighs> look so beautiful. It's just unfortunate that nobody comes here. And they are sad because the guy said they've not been paid all this while. They are telling them that they'll renovate the place and start off again, but nothing has happened. Amazing. Look at it from here, guys. Crazy. All right, guys, let's keep going. This is one of the scenes we just saw on the road and we decided to stop over and share with you. Sometimes what spoils this drive 
is the bad road. Once the road is bad, you're trying to dodge one portal, dodge the next one. It, it makes it the, the experience not fun at all. For you, the driver, maybe for the guy sitting by your side or the guys in your car, they'll be seeing what you're missing out on because you are concentrating on the road, trying not to jump into a portal. But it's okay. We're grateful for the opportunity we have to travel these places and share these experiences with you guys here. Try not to film checkpoints and uh, police, military, whatever checkpoint. We try not to film those places because uh, it is not allowed and uh, we respect that. Anyway, because of them on the road, it gives us some uh, peace of mind when you're driving, knowing that, I mean, everywhere you go, you find military or police or whatever checkpoint as you drive along, which is nice. have just covered everywhere Guys, we've reached um, Kachia. They will not enter out the town properly or proper. Anyway, we're gonna probably stop in Kachia because I want to get something to eat. We'll find a restaurant to get something to eat so that we can at least walk around a bit and show you what Kachia looks like. You know, it's interesting because, like I said, this is the southern part of Kaduna that you rarely see on TV. And the only thing you hear most times are the negatives of the things that happen here. You know, okay, maybe you, the, what we used to hear is that. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll look for some clips online or look for a newspaper cuts out so that you guys can see what I'm talking about.
thought we were going to get into get some food here in Kacha, but I think the Google map we were following actually routed us through their bypass, not through the bypass, so we couldn't get into town. We realized that we were on the bypass and there was no restaurant to get food to eat. Anyway, so we straight up now to uh, Kafanchan, that's where we're heading to now. But if we still find some way to eat before we finally disappear from here, we'll share that experience with you. Kafanchan is um, 97 kilometers from here. This place is called Kampani Gumel. That's where we passed, but because we've driven for a while and I saw um, one Aku or something like that. A lot of 
palm trees that we we we've driven past that they're all dead. I saw a bunch of them to our left. And 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 the reason is this they go to tap them for palm wine. Do you understand? And after tapping for a long time the, the tree died. Oh I know this road now, Jesus, let me pack it. This is the road from uh, from uh, Joss. The road from Joss. Ah, oh, well, well, well. Now I know where we are being. <laughs> I want to pack and express myself. <laughs> ah, I've been thinking in my head, like, which direction are we going to? You know, where are we heading? You know, how are we going to get to Zonkwa? And now, getting here, I just realized that if you see where that car is coming from there now, that's the junction that takes you to, um, what's the name of that place? To no no to Rio is it Rio? Yeah. Vom to Vom, you pass through. Uh, what I, I keep forgetting the name of this village. There's a village there. I'll look for the name and put here. That that road takes you there. It's just close by here. From here to Jos is not far anymore. I'm telling you, it's not far. Wait, let me look for it on the map. Hold on, one second. No, go, 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 go. I'm so kind of excited. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Back. I want to see whether I can get the name. Manchok. After Manchok is a uh, vom. So this way to just let's go oh, to just. You are the one driving. Oh, man. look at it. Look at it on the map. Can you point it this way? You see, this is where we are now. We are at this place, this PAK, this is Kagoro is the form. So if you come down this way, you come to Manchok. And if you pass Manchok, you're already entering Joss. That's the way to Joss. Oh man, this is so interesting. I'm kind of excited, you know, that I'm close to Joss. <laughs> ah, we look at the hill in front of us. I think this, this is called Kagoro Hill or something like that. That's what they call it. Kagoro Hill. Alright guys, let's head up to Kafanchan. The plants you just saw now, I think that's ginger because that is the major thing that is planted here. That was the farm here in uh, Kafanchan, all this part of the state. So, I hope we're able to find someone who, hope we're able to find someone who does this business, who we can speak with then buy some ginger to take home.
check how to go on the PlayStation. Yeah, I works. I works. Let's see whether anything good is still happening there. We finally reached uh, Kafanchan, and uh, we are hungry. The time is 12.07, and I want to get something to eat. This is a place we've eaten once before, when I used to go to just through this route. So we just want to get something to eat, then we'll look for accommodation. Well, before I thought we were going to look for where to stay, but this would be a good place to sit, eat, then look for where we're going to stay. Okay, let's go check it out. Thank you. 